God's played a cruel joke on me. He's made me into this stupid teenage girl. Hey. Would you like a cookie? What's your name, sweetheart? Satan. Mephistopheles? No, these are chocolate chip. As a people, us teenage girls are the least seriously taken race alive. About two years ago, when I was like 12, I realized I was the incarnation of the devil. And that was a pretty big deal. It was around the time I had my first period. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Mm. Were you like this when you were her age? Mm -hmm. The girl thinks she's the bride of Satan or something. Bride of Satan? What, am I not good enough to be Satan herself? Satan herself? Are you a lesbian? Oh, it's freaking parents! Did you get that skirt at Abercrombie? Mm -hmm. It's super cute. And they totally didn't take me seriously. If I were a guy and said, hey, I'm the Antichrist, they would like, you know, not let me buy a gun. But they didn't even send me to the school counselor. The goddamn health department says I have to take my busted up cars off my front lawn. If you don't want your kids cutting themselves on my windshields, then keep them off my busted up cars. It's my front lawn. My mother only has me one day a week. You know, she acts this way because that is a completely unhealthy environment. I mean, too clean, sterile. One day a week. That's it. Because I don't have a job, and I don't like to vacuum. It's true. 14 years ago, I actually sired a child with that woman. You know, it is the child who suffers the most. No one is right. No one is wrong. But in this case, one person was a lot more wrong than the other. And I think we all know who that is. She makes it out that just because we're both men, there's some sort of crazy sex thing going on all the time. Nothing could be further from the truth. Believe me. You know, it is disgusting and wrong that one parent gets to have sex while the other doesn't? Oh shit. Imagine you had this boyfriend that you really liked and he gave you a picture of himself and said, I want you to fall in love with this picture. You'd be like, uh-huh, you know? And that's what God did to me. You see, he made me first with all the other angels, except he made me out of smoke with fire. And then he moved on to go make people, which really was not exciting because they're all made out of clay. But he thought it was this big event because they all looked like him. So long story short, both me and humankind were banished from paradise for being disobedient. Just do it. I can't. They're not store-bought tomatoes. They're homegrown. They have all these certain essences that make you want to do all these wonderful things. <laughs> like what? Like take off all your clothes and sing Gershwin? You know, we're not supposed to eat these tomatoes. Listen, if you really love my father, then you'll eat this tomato and you'll have him eat one too. I can't. I don't. And now I'm stuck, roaming with all these moving masses of clay. And it's like having this stupid picture of this guy that you really like everywhere around you. They all sound like God, and they all talk like God, and they all look like God. But none of them are God. Things were weird, but I can deal with weird. But recently things have gotten really bad. Do it! Teresa got depressed. She won't eat, she won't come out of her room. I can roll with just about anything God throws at me. We've been doing this a long time. Now I'm a teenage girl. Ha ha, that's a good one. But now that I'm clay, I'm becoming like you. I'm becoming stupid like you. I still feel all the pain of loving God. I just can't remember him. 
I don't mean to be a B-I-C-T-H. I love you. Both of you. I just don't believe that either of you exist. Oh, here we go. I thought that you didn't believe that God existed. That's right. If I don't exist, God doesn't exist. You being Satan. Right. Okay. What is it that you want me to do? Well, you're not going to convince me that you exist. I've never tried to convince you that I exist. Right. I haven't. Yes, you have. No, I haven't. This is bullshit. This is fine. But I'm the one who needs to exist. You have money. You have your gorgeous man husband. And you have your whole life ahead of you. And I don't have a job. I don't have friends, and I have the government bothering me. I have a mother, and you have her! I am nothing, and I need to exist. new word to cross between chill and relax. That is totally awesome. I really need to make you into a wingster. A what? A wingster. Like my new intercontinental cool word. <laughs> See the American is like yo what's up I'm a gangster. And the British is like hello I'm a wanker. Okay. Breathe. What are you doing? Who is that? I don't know. Teresa, you just can't touch people you don't know. Hey, Mom. I got a lot of crap in the book of Job. But God? God's the real practical joker. The worst part about being here is, in this place, is that I'm not with God. And I miss him so much. And no matter what I do, I can't stop missing him. And wherever I look, I see his reflections. These dumb ass clay models. It's just so lonely. You're perfectly normal. You think you're having an existential crisis, but really, you're just hungry. You're anorexic. A lot of girls your age suffer from society's unrealistic expectations of body weight. I made you something. All right, what'd you make? Tomato salad. Well, it looks good. Try it, it's delicious. You know, tomatoes are a fruit, not a vegetable. Really? Mm -hmm. How's it going? Nah. Mm -hmm. How are you? Come on, seriously. I guess there are worse amounts of clay I could not exist with. Thanks. Pretty awesome barbecue, huh? You know it. Anybody up for Gershwin? Uh, 